Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create this automated attendance sheet with checkboxes. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this beautiful attendance sheet with the new checkboxes. Here we have the employee ID, employee name and supervisor name. Then we have date here and we can change month from here. If we want to mark the attendance for another month, we can select the year also. Then here we have the checkboxes to mark the attendance. Let's say if we want to mark the attendance for 7th Jan, we can simply select this range and go to the insert and insert the checkboxes. Okay. Now you can start marking the attendance for the different employees. If they are present, just check this checkbox. Here we have the present count and the total days. So total days here it is showing 7. That means we have marked the attendance for 7 days. And it is showing the attendance percentage out of those seven days, how many days employee was present. This is the attendance percentage with data bar. Now I will show you step by step how you can create this in Microsoft Excel. So let's start without delay. Let's add a new sheet here. Let's take the employee ID here. Then we will take the employee name and we will take the supervisor name. Alright, so we can copy this data from here for now. Let's copy and just paste as value. Okay, now here we will start putting the dates. Select these three cells, go to the home and use merge and center and we will take here month. Then select these three cells, go to the home again and merge and center and we will create a drop down here. Let's press Alt D L go to the list and just click here we have created the list of months and year here so we can select the months here click on ok so we can see the list here so let's select here jan now we will format this so go to the view and uncheck the grid lines and go to the home and let's fill here this color and font white and here we will fill the light color go to the home again and fill the same theme color light color let's say this one now select these two and press ctrl 1 go to the border and select here this thick border and select the same color this one outline and inside click on ok all right go to the home and align this middle and center Copy this and let's paste it from here and here we will take year in place of month and we will change the drop down also. So let's press Alt DL again to open the data validation window. We will change this reference. So just delete this and this time we will select the years. Click on OK. Now here we can select the year. Alright. Now we will create the first date from column D. So let's put the formula here date value and then use concat and put one comma month comma year okay r3 just close the bracket hit the enter so we are getting the first date here okay now select this cell press ctrl 1 go to the number custom and we will take the date format only d hyphen mmm click on okay now on the second cell we will use this plus one so we are getting the next date and select this range press ctrl r and select more till 31st gen press ctrl r we have date till 31st gen now select this range only date range press ctrl 1 again go to the alignment and change the orientation as 90 degree click on ok now Press Ctrl and Space to select all columns and make the column width slightly smaller like this and increase the row height. Okay, so we can see the dates here. Okay, now here we will take the present count and here we will take the total days. Here we will calculate attendance percentage. All right. Now we will start formatting this. So let's select whole, go to the home and reduce the size, take 9 
align this center center okay now first we will format this so go to the home and take here let's say this background color font white make this bold and select this range press control 1 go to the border select this border and take this light color outline inside click on ok okay you can take different theme also of the colors if you want and select this range the date range and go to the home and you can take the different theme here let's say i'm taking this blue theme or you can take this orange theme you can choose any theme so let's say i'm taking this one font i'm taking white then i'm selecting this range press control one border and let's say this time i'm taking this border outline inside click on ok so we can see that border here for the present you can choose some different if you want let's say this one white font make them bold now select this range press control button you can choose this border outline inside click on ok all right now our formatting is done on the top you can increase the row height of the first row select this range go to the home and merge and center you can fill some color let's say i'm taking this color and font white increase the size and make it bold so here we can take let's say attendance seat or whatever you want okay or you can make it dynamic also like attendance seat in inverted comma put here for space and you can take gen then hyphen then year 2024 just hit the enter so attendance seat for january 2024 increase the size and change the alignment vertical alignment if you change the month then you can see the dates are changed and the title also getting changed all right okay now let's say we want to mark the attendance till 6 gen so we can select this range we can go to the insert and we can insert the checkbox so here you can see checkbox is inserted now we will change the size also it's looking big so let's select this whole range go to the home and the size is 9 let's take 8 okay now we will press alt od to put the conditional formatting in this range press new rule and we will go to format only cells that contains and here we will go to cell equal to if we take the value as true that means checkbox is checked then we will go to the format and the font color we will take let's say this green color click on ok ok similar condition formatting we will apply for false also so click on new rule format only cells that contains and take here equal to and take false and for false we will take the font color this one click on ok ok and apply ok so here you can see it is in this orange color if i check this then it will be in green color all right because when we insert the checkbox in each cell of the checkbox there will be false so now let's mark the attendance for few of them all right now we will put the formula for the present count as count if and we will select this range and count true so just type here true and close the bracket so we are getting here four because we have marked four present if i check this then you can see we have five okay now to count the total days we can use the count a function and we can select this range enter so we have six we have marked the attendance till six only now the attendance percentage will be present count divided by total days and convert it to the percentage shift control file so we have percentage here now select this range and fill this down select this range and we will put the conditional formatting here press alt od and go to the new rule and select the format style as data bar the minimum value select as number and the maximum value also as number for minimum value put zero and maximum value as one which is hundred percent okay now 
the fill color we can take any color from here whatever color you want to choose let's say i'm taking this green color this one and the border also i'm taking here solid border and the color i'm taking this green color the fill i'm converting it to the gradient fill click on ok and apply ok so here we can see the bar for this employee we can see the zero attendance percentage if i start marking the attendance then you can see it is getting changed now you can go to the view and you can remove the headings so it is looking good now so friends that is how you can create the attendance sheet using these check boxes in microsoft excel friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching